So in this video, we will talk about a very important concept in JavaScript. And we will take a look at the for each loop. Now, you see I have in the body tag, I have two h1 elements. And, uh, you know, you may not have two h1 elements, but I'm just showing you, uh, you know, it's rare to see two h1 elements, but it's okay. I have the script tag here. Let's say that I want to change the style of them. So whenever I click on the first one, I want to change it to red and then change it back to whatever class we have applied to it. So now inside of the script tag, and let me zoom in before I do it. All right, so before we start coding, I'm gonna start zooming in. So right here, you see, I'm gonna say, for example, variable, and I can name it anything I want, but I'm gonna call it my selector, because we are going to select all of the age one elements now. So we are going to say equals to then document dot query selector all. All right. So query selector all just like that. And then you open two parentheses. All right. And then you add the name of whatever element you have. So I'm going to type in age one because these are two age one elements. All right. And I'm going to add a semicolon to the end of it. So now we have done that. It's time to use the for each. And to use the for each, we can use my selector. All right. So we are going to use this variable name. So we are going to retype that here. So I'm going to say my selector dot for each. And then you open two parentheses. So this is the for each. All right. We will not talk about the arguments for now, but we will use something called a function. So we are going to type in the word function here. All right, so function. And then I'm going to call it toggle, because this will toggle the style. I'm going to open two parentheses here. And right here, what's going on is we have to close this one. So for each, and then toggle like that and then you open two brackets just like that so you see you have toggle and then we opened the function so the code will go here all right uh, so right here you see for the function just before I uh, continue so you see this is a function here and inside of this toggle I can add a parameter so I'm gonna add the word my parameter all right so my parameter all right, so I have my parameter there. And now we are going inside of the curly braces. We are going to use that name. So we are going to type in my parameter, all right? So my parameter dot class list and then dot toggle. So toggle and then you open two parentheses and two quotations. And inside of these quotations, you add the name of your style. So you see I have uh, a style here that's called the red. So I'm gonna type in red. All right, so we have that. We have applied this style to the parameter. What now, let's see, uh, this is not what I wanted. So now right here, it's already red and all of them are red, but this is not what I wanted, so I'm gonna Instead of saying my parameter and change the class here, I'm going to add a class this here. So I'm going to get rid of this line for now. And we are going to add an event listener to this element. So I'm going to say my parameter here. All right. So my parameter dot add event listener and then two parentheses. And we are going to say click. All right. So whenever we click, we want to run a function. I'm going to add the function here. So I'm going to use the arrow function. All right. And right here, this is what we are going to change. So I'm going to use that name again. So my parameter dot class list dot toggle. All right. So class list dot toggle. And then we are going to open two parentheses and add our class name. So you see now they are, they have the default font color, but if we click on it, you see 
it becomes red and if I click on item 2 it changes item 2 and now if we click on item 1 it becomes the default color and uh, yeah this is it so we have applied whatever we typed in here and we have attached it to all of the age 1 elements using for each so I hope this video was not very difficult for you all but this is a very important concept in JavaScript so you have to understand how to use for each so you see right here I have toggled this class here I mean you can toggle class and do whatever you want to do or you can add you know the image size effect for example when you click on an image so thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next videos